Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Exit the Gungeon. I am standing on the hunter's head. Perfect. Perfect hunter. Wait, do I have old blood? I cannot remember if I've done old blood. I have old blood! We do not need rabbit ears or whatever ears these are with old blood. There's also not really a, a thematic hat that goes along with this one, but dude, I like the outfit. Let's begin a run here. Trying to do a few things in the gungeon. You know, we're still trying to... Oh man, I like the costumes. I like them. Uh, still trying to get Bellow's big old metal stool. So that's something that we're going to be trying to look forward to do here. Uh, if we can, you know, get a Winchester's gun game that doesn't kind of glitch out, that'd be fantastic. I like that these shots home. Makes them very, very likely to hit. Um, the other things that we're trying to do here... I wonder if I can actually remember what they are. Right, we gotta find nut butter. I don't know how we're gonna find nut butter for our friend Daisuke, but if we can find some, we'll find some. Otherwise, you know, we're just looking for more NPCs and we're looking for a little bit of an event with those NPCs. Also, hey, you know what? I just realized something. There's an NPC I've yet to see yet. Patches and Mendy, I've not seen them once since we actually unlocked them. Do you think we'll actually get the opportunity to see them, to say hi? To either use their their uh, their fairy in a bottle to get back up to, to full health, or just to say hi to them and be like, hey, what's your deal? You got a story for me? You got a quest line? I'm all for Patches and Mendy quest, but I don't actually know where they are. I don't know how to get to them. Yeah, I was thinking it might be a, ca a case where in Exit the Gungeon they don't show up if you don't need them. So we might have to, to do a run where we just, from the very beginning, take a lot of damage, be at low health, and then hope that they can spawn in. I don't know if that's actually the case, but if it is, then that might explain why we haven't seen them. Although, you know, I'm still looking for NPCs and whatnot from the rat. So maybe part of the reason why we haven't seen them is just because of RNG. I'm sure it'll happen. And the bees are so good. Also, so I the the purple bullets. I looked at the Diginomicon for them. The Diginomicon says that they split, but I've never actually seen them split, so I don't even know what they do. I don't think they do anything. Hey, me do Zulier. Careful. We had a very good shot with the makeshift cannon. Not enough to not enough to kill her. The makeshift cannon doesn't do that much damage anymore. Which is a, a damn shame if you ask me. <laughs> but understandable, sure. Dude, I love that the fist is so damn slow. You know, I, I think I'm gonna do something. I think I'm gonna make it so that if I just press down, I go down through a platform. Because if I land on the platform when I'm holding down and I have to press down to fall through it, I would rather it just happen kind of immediately. So let's actually do that right now. It's a, mi a minor control change, but I want auto descend on, and then in theory I can just press down and just kind of jump right down through the platform. You know, I like that. Let's do it. Let's do it and let's see what comes of this. Maybe we'll be very happy with that change. Maybe I'll be very happy with that change, let's say. Try talking to Bello. If nothing happens, just keep playing. I mean, so here's the thing. I, I found a Winchester's game that had the metal stool on it, right? After that happened and I shot the blimp with the, the cannon, I talked to Bello. Bello didn't say anything. So I, I think I need to do that Winchester game again and actually hit the, uh, hit the stool properly. So if we find Winchester's game, maybe we can do something with that. But if we don't find Winchester's game, I, I doubt we're doing anything with Bellow. We need we need to do something with this stool. Because right now, when I talk to Bellow, the only thing he says is, You're welcome here, Hunter. Be sure not to shoot me in the face, because I'll kill you if you try it. You know, that's, that's the message we get from Bellow right now.
GT Cork, hello, welcome, and happy Friday to you too. Man, I like that holding down to go through the platforms. I think that's gonna help me out personally quite significantly. Whee. Going up, you know, I, I'm okay pressing space bar to go up. I don't, I don't need to press up to jump. But just pressing down to go down, saving a button press there, that's helpful. You know what? Answers a question for me. Enemies that are poisoned stay poisoned when they teleport. Dude, I hate this. There we go. These Uzi Bulletkins, man. <laughs> they do not want to die. And just keep walking back and forth. Like dicks! Dicks, 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 dicks. Okay, red chest. Shadow bullets. Love it. Thank you. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Because one, one problem is. Um, well, not one problem, but I guess this does kind of solve a problem, which is what happens if you. Uh, you know, don't actually hold down when you go down through a platform and you land on it, but then like a split second later you press down. Well now you'll only land on the platform for a split second. It helps you out a little bit. It means you don't have to pay nearly as much attention, which I, I enjoy. <laughs> Anything that means I don't have to pay any more attention to Gungeon, I accept it. Oh, you know what else we have to do? I'm only realizing that we're remembering this right now. I missed all my shots. We gotta freaking get our Daisuke combo up. We're almost there, we're at a 17. We might be able to hit 20 by the end of this boss fight if we don't use blanks. Although, damn it. I really hate there being a... Uh... God damn it, I was in the middle of my jump! I hate there being a... Uh... A hole in the middle of the platform. So now I, I'm curious about something. Do you think that that cost me my flawless? I mean, that could have cost me my flawless because I uh, I did technically take damage as the fight started. I, I, I really want to try to flawless the fight so I can tell. It's a very edge case thing to happen, but, you know, that's one of the reasons why I really do hate these, um, like this arena. Casey. Casey. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Casey. Thanks, Casey. Thanks, Casey! Just kill him. Just kill the boss. Oh, thanks, Bracket Key Dog. <laughs> oh, Lord. Very salty about that one. That was my own my own doing, though. I mean, I had Casey. I could have just waited. Shopkeeper's open for business. I don't want any of that garbage. It's all garbage. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, that could have been a lot better. Could have been a lot worse, though, but... Yeah, that's that's very unfortunate there. I guess you gotta be careful to make sure that you are not actually in the middle of a jump when the fight starts, because you will just lose your ability to actually control your character. If that happens... You will just straight up take damage. Ah, okay, I mean that's on me. I was really hoping to actually be able to tell. Right. I was really hoping to actually be able to tell if um what is going on. I don't know why I'm taking all this all these hits. I'm I'm like I'm trying to go down through the platform and I'm just getting hit. Um Yeah, I was really hoping to be able to tell if 
if that would count as a loss of a flawless or not, but I still think it's a bug. Don't you just love Casey? I like Casey in Enter the Gungeon, but the problem is you can't shoot it in the air. And if you can't jump and, and release your Casey shot, you're just you're unable to hit the enemy half the time, like against that Neon Cat. Either I can't get close enough to hit him, or I don't want to get close enough and hit him. Because they do melee damage. You know, they, they rush you down. Go through the door, please. Whatever, whatever, whatever. We'll just have to deal with it better next time that comes around. And while we have a moment, let's make sure we uh, actually try and deal with all of these enemies as they spawn and press these buttons down. I would rather not have a whole bunch of these trying to shoot me while I'm also dealing with, the en with enemies. I love this mechanic, though. I hate it, but I love the mechanic. <laughs> that scatter shot? That is extremely good. Don't shoot me. Combo's getting back up there again. I was really hoping that we could hit 20 for a possible Daisuke, but... The dog has a jetpack. GOTY 2020. The Adventures Taco. Hello, welcome, first of all. And also, you, you haven't seen Exit the Gungeon? You haven't seen the, the jetpack dog? Just do a lot of jumping, basically. If you do a lot of jumping, you'll be fine. I think that's a good opportunity to use a blank, honestly. That's just a lot of jumping itself. Okay. This is a lot easier to dodge. I feel like I've actually, you know, gotten a decent amount of skill fighting against uh, Low King here. Low King, Low Priest. <laughs> Hot lead. I think we already have frost, so having hot and frost is pretty decent. Let's see what we got. Military training seems decent. I would like the guanstone, of course, but I just can't afford it. Do 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 do. Hold on. What is going on? My internet quality is sucking, 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 sucking. But it's actually a little bit better now. Weird. My internet has been awfully weird lately. It's been up, it's been down, hasn't been that consistent. Hopefully it doesn't interfere too much in recording. Cold 4444, hello, welcome. What are my key bindings? You just downloaded the game today, and do I have any tips? Get good practice. Be careful, jump a lot. Um, as for keybinds, uh, my keybinds are, you know, for your keybinds, do whatever is comfortable for you. I would recommend putting reload on R. Um, you know, make sure that your, your blank key and your interact key are, are decent for you. For me personally, I have my, my blank on a, a mouse button. But I got a lot of buttons on my mouse. Actually, that's a complete lie. I, I do not have that many buttons on my mouse. <laughs> I have two thumb buttons, but I only can use one of them because if I try to use uh, the other ones, they're not actually that comfortable for me. I have flight. I literally have no idea what hit me because I was flying. Thanks, balloon gun. Always, always thanks to balloon gun and always thank mud for the balloon gun. Hey, you know what? What was I just saying? Patches and Mendy haven't seen him. There's a fairy in a bottle. Hey there. Now that we've been rescued, you can help. We can help Gungeoneers like you with our brand new intravenous fairy treatment. It works like magic. It's guaranteed to make you light on your feet. It gives you wings on the inside. Would you like to try our patent pending perfectly safe fairy re remedy? No thanks. 
Yeah, Mac, if you change your mind. Dude, I want to talk to the fairy in a bottle. She's like, she's me-sized. She's a person. You can't kill her for me. Talk to the fairy. Also, is there like a jumping puzzle here? There is! Is there a secret in here? Youch! Dot, dot, dot. Which one's Patches and which one's Mendy? Because one of them's not really talking. You think I can like jump into the bottle and do something? I want to break the bottle and free the fairy. No? Okay, let's do it. All right, aim for the spine. Excuse me? <laughs> Fully healed. No need to thank us. The dungeon is a big scary place. I'm all out of diagnosis. That They injected that fairy directly into my blood. Beware the fairy blood. That's a little scary. And also, I, I wanted to save the fairy, not eat her. <laughs> that was horrifying, says the Black Falcon. Yeah, that was pretty horrifying. Um, a fairy lives inside of us now. I was wondering why I had double shots. Black bullets, of course. I need to spend a moment actually shooting these enemies, I think. Excuse me! Thank you, dog. You're gonna go pick that up. And I got bouncing bullets. <laughs> the game is like, I'm gonna spawn this enemy now! I'm not- oh lord, I'm not gonna let you prevent the spawning of this enemy anymore, Gungeoneer. I kinda like that mechanic, you know, you have you have the, po the option, the possibility of uh, preventing spawning, but sometimes it'll still just spawn it directly into you if you're not careful. Okay, you know, either homing or a better gun would be useful here. Please! Well, I got the better gun quotient. No wonder pot fairies hate you in Gungeon. They should hate Patches and Mendy, not me. Understanding. That if you have to, just keep moving. Just keep dodging. You'll be fine. In the middle, in the middle. This is not that bad. Oh, I landed there! What was I just saying? Oh, this isn't gonna be that bad. Oh. A. A that that attack. I'll be honest. I always get surprised when that one comes out. I'm just gonna wait for this rocket to kill you. He'll get you. He'll get you. Oh, the f not getting these flawlesses is hurting. Like I don't care about the HP. I care about the combo. I care about the damage. Also, I I don't want patches and Mindy to show up, even if I need the health. I can always buy HP. I want, uh, I want Winchester. I want the gun game. What connection do I use? What, what's my internet? My internet is internet. I don't know how they connect it. My internet is, I call the company and I say, yo, I need, I need, I need Reddit, dude. I need my, my Google email. Internet Explorer doesn't work. Connect me. I hate that Anvil and doesn't like properly go through through floors. A lot of a lot of the um, items don't properly go through floors. 
like grenade launcher too. <laughs> oh, it doesn't bounce properly. I use my neighbor's Wi-Fi. Nah, they they they're catching on. I do like slow motion bananas though. That's pretty dope. Now if only I had a scatter shot to go along with it. I will say I love that the eh, I love that the the really really good passives in Gungeon have been kind of included. They they've been included, but you have to unlock them. You know, it's not just Alpha Bullet, Omega Bullet, Plus One to Bullet. You actually have to to get the bouncing bullets, the homing bullets, the heavy bullets, the gilded bullets. And it's nice, you know. I feel like you've made some decent progress when you unlock these cool synergies. You just need the credits to make it happen. I also really enjoy that when you uh, when you unlock a new item, many times you unlock pe new passives, like new new power up pickups. You know, we have we we got scatter shot. Wow, your shots hit me even though I was standing on the same level as you. You know, we unlock scatter shot, and then all of a sudden we get a scatter shot pickup. We unlock homing, we get a homing pickup. We unlock flash bullets, we get a flash bullet pickup. I like that. It's nice. Have I seen Opera GX? I don't know what that means. So I'm gonna say no. Alright, we'll buy what we can and leave. We'll fight the dragon. Milk Jug, hello, welcome to the stream. Yeah, it's been it's been nice so far having down going through the platform instead of down space. It's kind of saved me a little bit of, of brain processing power, although it is going to take me a little while to get used to it fully. I think that's a good change. I'm here to kill you, dragon. Well, no. There's not a lot of dragons in the Bloodborne universe, is there? More just horrible blood werewolf monstrosities. Free damage! I think it's free damage anyways. I'm definitely getting more comfortable with the attacks coming out of the dragon. Some of the attacks, it's still just dodge roll your heart out and, and hope that you're good. But many, many of the attacks I am getting more comfortable with and I feel, feel better dodging them. Also, the dragon broke some of my bullets there. That's very rude. Oh no. I can't really hit the dragon with this gun. The shots don't go high enough. Hey, at least crown of guns is something I can use. I almost got hit there. I should have just been a little bit more careful. What'd we get? We got death bullets? Probably radiated lead, huh? By the way, I think Shield of the Maiden can block bullets. I don't quite understand how it works, because I, I haven't done it, but... I haven't really tried to, but I, I hear that it can block bullets. Can I also say... F heavy bullets? <laughs> the inability to have, like, guns that have range on them, like Mahogany or Shield of the Maiden gun. I forget what it's called. It's not Shield of the Maiden gun, just looks like Shield of the Maiden. Kinda sucks a little bit. Like, I can't, I can't jump! I can't jump to hit the dragon in the head! I'm just gonna blink that. Probably gonna blink it anyways. There we go. Dragon's been killed. I don't think we took damage. So at least we did get the flawless there, even though we failed it on Killender and maybe another boss. Right, the cat. Oh well. Some extra hegemony credits. I will feel happy about getting those at least.
fall, fall. And I think I realize now that the parachutes that appear, those are really based off of your current session. I don't think there's any secret involving the parachutes. I was really hoping there would be, but oh well. Let's pet the dog. I did it, guys. I pet the dog. Hey, shake the box. Thank you for the raid and hello. Welcome, everyone. I see that Jimmy's stopped streaming, uh, whatever he was streaming. <laughs> still gotta fix my my twitch overlay it, it's not showing events properly some of you might appreciate the the fewer distractions but I do wish that it was working fully I keep meaning to take a look at it but I haven't figured out what's wrong with it yet that's on me I'll have to fix it finally he pets the dog you always got to pet the dog you always got to sit by the dog Modded Spire. I mean, I'm still working on uh, my Ascension 20 Spire runs. Although I haven't played in a while. And I still haven't done it with the defect. I'm only on like Ascension 19 with the defect. Oh well. 24 minutes, we have a whole bunch of credits. Let's go spend them in the Breach. At the very least, unlock one very special costume that I've been waiting for my whole life. Sorry, this is not where you buy the costumes. It's the cool test. It's the coolest cultist. Great. Ch Shove it, snails. My lizard hands have a natural gift for mixing. Actually, I just call them hands. Spit. Okay. He's talking about his lizard hands <laughs> for some reason. Oh, in any case, for those of you on YouTube, hey, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Exit the Gungeon.